Hey everybody, I am here to help you avoid making a mistake that I see so many clients make and it's this, it's promoting great managers into leadership positions that they're really not equipped to do very well. And it's really um, boils down to one key reality and it's this, great managers are not necessarily great leaders. And the reason for that is the skills and aptitudes that are necessary to be a terrific manager are not the same as the skills and aptitudes necessary to become a terrific leader. So you can be a great manager and not necessarily a good leader. There are dozens and dozens of differences. Let me share with you three key ones and they will help you understand what I'm talking about. The first one, a leader requires vision. A manager requires tenacity. What's the difference? A leader has to be able to imagine something that doesn't exist and be able to articulate it in ways that compel people within their organizations to help them achieve that vision. Managers have to be tenacious. They have to stick to the schedule. They have to drive the project to completion. Two different sets of skills. A second big difference. Leaders need an ability to articulate. Managers need an ability to interpret. What's this about? A leader has to be able to really describe a vivid and compelling vision for the future and get people so turned on that they can't imagine working anywhere else or on anything else. A manager, on the other hand, has to be able to translate that vision into action. And it's actions that are going to help the organization achieve that leader's vision. So a manager is quite necessary in this equation, but the skills are different. One is about defining and articulating a direction. The other is being able to interpret that and translate it into action. And then finally, and this is really important too, a leader's responsible to the entire organization. They can't just sort of uh, wing it. They've got to be responsible for everything that happens within the enterprise. A manager, on the other hand, is accountable to their team. They've got to make sure their team is successful. And again, the skills and aptitudes required to do these two very different things are also very different things. So if you need some help with leadership development, please reach out. I've got a ton of coaching and other offerings that can help you develop the community of leaders you need to become an organization that your customers can't live without.